What do consultants actually do? Hi, my name is Johannes and welcome to Mastering Consulting. On this channel, I want to share the learnings and insights from my own journey management consulting to help you to have a successful career while also living a balanced life in management consulting. And if you're new to this channel, then please make sure to subscribe, leave a thumb up and hit the bell in order to not miss any new video that will help you to be successful in management consulting. And today we have a great topic. We will answer the questions, what do consultants actually do? I remember when I was interested in the consulting industry back then, I wanted to know, okay, what do consultants actually do on a daily basis? Of course, I knew that consultants kind of, you know, work with clients, they do a lot of presentations, they do some analysis, but I never really understood what they really, really do on a daily basis. Especially when my family and friends asked me, Johannes, you want to go to consulting? So what do consultants actually do? I never was able to give a precise and short answer. So I asked people who already had some more experience in management consulting and one guy said, Johannes, being a consultant is like being a doctor for businesses. Of course, this sounds like a very good and simple explanation, but to be honest, I didn't really understand what he meant by that until I went to a doctor a couple of weeks later. I went to the doctor because I had a problem. You know, I was sick, I had some headache and I wanted, you know, to get healthy again and I wanted to have a solution for my health problem. And when I went to the doctor, uh, he opened the door, then he greeted me, I sat down and he started to ask me a lot of questions. And what he basically did was that he tried to structure my thoughts, he tried to understand the problem and really tried to figure out, okay, why I'm here and what kind of problem I actually had. After that, he made some tests and those tests he sent afterwards to a laboratory where they performed a couple of analysis. He asked me to come back a couple of days later and when I came back, he had the analysis of the data and he prescribed a medication and that was the solution for my problem. And fortunately, a couple of days later, I was healthy again and I had a solution for my health problem. And that was the point where I really understood what my friend meant by saying consultants are like doctors for companies. Because actually, you know, all of those steps that the doctor performs are also the same steps that consultants perform if they try to solve business problems. So let's take a look on those steps and let's try to figure out what consultants actually do on a daily basis. So usually a consulting team is hired because the client, so a company, has a business problem. And in a previous video, I already explained that there are many different problems that consultants can solve. Like for example, increasing profitability, um, improving processes, making company more digital or more sustainable, for example. So if you hire a consulting team, usually the first phase within a consulting project is all about structuring the problem, trying to understand the situation. And consultants have a lot of different tools for that. So they do a lot of research, obviously. They conduct many interviews with all of those different stakeholders. Maybe they try to retrieve some financial data of the company to get a good overview of the current situation. And basically they try to structure the big problem into smaller sub problems in order to really understand what the actual problem is and have a, and to provide a structure for the client to tackle the problem. And usually the result of that phase where the consulting team tries to structure the problem are hypotheses. So the consulting team creates some hypotheses that they want to test throughout the entire process. And the result usually of such a structuring phase is that the consulting team has some hypothesis that they can test and validate throughout the project. Phase number two is the analysis phase. And usually a consulting team, after they structure the problem, tries to test those hypotheses. And for that, they try to gather data that they need to perform the analysis, and then they run their Excel models or other kind of models. And usually what they try to do is that they really try to find out, okay, so what is the actual problem and what could be a potential solution? So for example, in order to increase the profitability of a company, they could run a business model or build a business model where they test all of the assumptions and try to find ways in order to improve the financial situation of the company. And then the last step, this is step number three, is that they find and present a solution. So after structuring the problem, after doing all the analysis, they come up with a 
business solution. And this is usually, you know, where they create all of those uh, PowerPoint slides because this is the final presentation to the client where the consulting team proposes a solution that uh, helps the client to solve the actual problem. And the end result of such projects is that the client has a solution for the initial business problem. And as you see, those steps that the consulting teams performs are exactly the same steps that a doctor performs if they want to solve a health problem. The only difference is that a consulting team solves business problems. So if you don't want to miss any new video that helps you to become successful in management consulting, then please make sure to subscribe to this channel. Also leave a thumb up and I hope you have a very successful day. See you very soon. Goodbye, Johannes.